All right, all right. So here is medieval. We may we may use cheese. It is, it's more likely that we, that we could use cheese. Um, it's not a playthrough that we're going to be doing. We're not we're not doing a playthrough of medieval. It's just to start the game up, check out, have fun, relive the good old times before gaming become a shitstorm. Full of lazy developers looking to just simply make a quick buck that doesn't really give a ras ass. Um, talk about basically virtually every modern game. There's very few games that don't require a day one patch. Which, which is pretty damn concerning when you get into it. Because it's like... Well, oh. But yeah, um... Gaming is basically just a shitstorm, um, uh, right now. It's, it's, it's both good and bad. It's good if you enjoy yourself, but it's really bad on the grounds that developers take advantage of the player base and potential peop oh, potential customers and players and all that. Because, oh, look, here's, a, here's our... Here's our clearly unfinished game. And it's like, oh. The game's unfinished, it's got a whole buttload of DLC. Let me check some settings real quick. Settings. Oh, you're playing in the original aspect ratio. Okay. Do full screen. It is literally much easier on my eyes. Ah, uh, let's see if we have anything. Hey, Jack, how you doing, buddy? Oh, wait, Pumpkin Serpent, uh, 38 minutes in. Um, guess we're playing that! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've taken a crack at this. But, uh, yeah, Zoe. Ooh, only one? Only one chalice for Hollow Heroes? Anyway, that's annoying. Ah, uh, ooh. We have been to many places, my friends. This leaving village. Asylum grounds? Wait, we got everything unlocked. Is that asylum? Um, 38 minutes. I have used cheats here. Noted. We only have one chalice for the Hall of Heroes. That's not We have the chalice for the graveyard. We don't have the chalice for Cemetery Hill. Um. Okay. Let's try and get the chalice for Cemetery Hill. We're going to replay it. So, Jack, th this is Medieval from the PS1. And it's on the PS Vita. This, this is yet another game I didn't own growing up. I had it on demo disc. Ooh, yeah, beefy cheats. We have 100% is cheese. So, the way you get your upgrades in there... Oh, Zarek. Yeah, he's my demon. So, even from, from the, the shackles of, of death, death, my old enemy pursues, pursues me. me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already ah. my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> oh, that, this is really sketchy uh, voice acting. Now, this is an American-made game. It definitely, definitely shows. It really does. It's in a lot of instances. It's easy to tell an American game from like a Japanese game, just based on various statistics. Ooh, I am actually also low HP. What, what weapons do I have? Wait, have I got the dragon? I've got the dragon armor. Look at that! It's, it's literal dragon armor. I don't know if there's a limit on the dragon armor, but the dragon armor itself is not very good. All it does is just set you on fire. Is he getting back up? No, he's not. 
This is PS1. This is from like 1996. They're actually very good. Ah, uh, for the time. Oh, this guy's trying to take a bite of me. Hi guys! Can I join in your rave? Thank you. I guess not. Uh, so yeah, these guys on the wall, if you talk to them, you can use them to refill your ammunition. So for like you're throwing daggers, um I think you can recharge your what sort here? Let me just talk to the wall real quick. Yeah, it makes sense. Services. Yeah, we can enchant the sword back up to 100% for 100 gold. And we can also repair weapons. If they need it, we can also buy crossbow bolts, standard arrows, flaming arrows, magical arrows, and spears. So it's kind of like your one-stop shop for basically everything. Now, the way you get most of these... I forgot we could pick up chicken drumsticks. Nice. <laughs> you can hear him smack his skull on the ceiling. Bullet pick up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's hilarious. That's what it is. Alright. We, we, we can toss lightning. We can toss good lightning. We have a shield. Um, yeah. A lot of the things you can buy, or a lot of the things you can earn, are from the Hall of Heroes. So you, you definitely do want to access the Hall of Heroes for Take Magic Sword. And the way you access the Hall of Heroes is there's a chalice up at the top right. If you fill that to 100% and then search the level for it, you can then pick up the chalice. Uh, we have a glove to use. Yeah, that's that's kind of what you do. Holy heroes, you get things. Friend of club. Nice. Right, book. Tell me. The club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it. Button with it, but beware. One bash too many and it will break. Ah, uh, I, I, I kind of know this. But it's nice of the game to tell me. It really is. Um, we do want to claim the hill, but not just yet. We have to kill the zombies. I should have really played this at Halloween. I think I may have at one point. I can't remember. I cannot remember, comrade, if I played it at Halloween or not. Oh, we also have the hammer. Oh. Ooh, hello. Talk to him. <laughs> ah, fresh air. We ah, hate these air. dark old caves and the we filthy. Hate these dark old caves and Some the filthy stench of old witches. A coven of the warty old hags lived here once. Unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still me. Okay. I will keep this equipped in case we need it. Oh. I don't remember this area. I really don't. Ah, excuse you. What is in here? Seekers! Ah, uh, oh, okay. What is this? A guide to covens for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the guest, the questing adventurer, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms and talismans. Um, I don't have anything to summon. Ha ba 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 ba. Ah, three here. 
Can we light that with a dragon breath? I guess not. Hey! The chalice is in this room, in fact. There's also a stun. Wait, 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 can I, can I use, um, lightning? I guess not! Oh. Looks like he's dragging up. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a chalice there, but I don't know how to get into it. Ah, uh, he's clapping on those bars. Okay. Okay. I may have to come back to that. I'll have to come back to that. So for now, that looks breakable. Is that breakable? It's that age old trope with really old video games where if the wall looks breakable, it probably is. In this case, it's not. You, sometimes you'll be able to tell if a wall is breakable because it looks different uh, from others. Yeah, yeet, yeah, yeet, yeah, yeet. So we're just gonna go zombie hunting because that's what—that's literally what we need to do. It's how you—it's how you use the chalice. I'm trying to look over here for the camera. The camera's not good. Really terrible. I'm terrible at the job, by the way. It's an absolutely despicable lot. Oh, I also don't want to hit this because I'll probably die or something. I'd rather not do that. Uh, camera angle, hello, where are you? Ah, oh, he's fucking looking at me. Good lord. Okay, so we're gonna take the hammer and we're gonna go climb the hill. I just wanted to do that. Hey. View controls, button layout. Oh, we don't have vibration access. Okay, walk, run, toggle. No, thank you. Oh, that's for controls. What are you uh, Audio mode is fine. Effects, volume, speech, volume, music, volume, lighting. Eh, whatever. Screen adjust. Do we really... Oh, no, we need to cheat in order to control the camera. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit, that thing almost killed me. Ow! Okay, kindly stop damaging me. Ow. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm dying. Ah! No! Ow. Wait, I don't have a shield equipped. That's one of the reasons I'm dying. Hey. These are also the worst villains. We give our lives. We give our lives. All you have to do is just get to the top, and the, en the main enemy, the level, dies. He just absolutely yeets himself. It's like. What? Oh! Um, hello? I didn't realize you could do that. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Oh. Ugh. 
Alright, so we're gonna bring this mana area here. So that we can restore not only our HP, but our, our extra HP. Because all, all those pots above the top are like extra HP that you can attain. <laughs> so yeah. What? Yeah, all, all that there is X. All that up the top is like all extra HP. So if if you for some reason lose your HP bar, it will automatically be restored. All right, let's see. I was wondering why I was being pink, but it is what it is. It's fine. Now we actually have to go back down the mountain because there's still a couple of enemies we haven't killed yet. Yeah, there's still a couple of enemies that we haven't killed yet. So the chalice isn't at 100 yet. Ooh, I'll have that. I didn't even realize that was there. I would have known that, I would have freaking used it. Oh, why? Stop giving me these copper shields. I don't need them. Ah. Oh. So we're just going to go around this road just in case there's any enemies that, there, that we need to kill. Well, there's obviously one or two left in that room. I will smack you. What I'm going to have to end up doing is looking for a guide on the chalices. Because I'm not going to lie, these chalices could take forever to obtain. Like, it's, it's all about killing to get souls that you require. So that's called the job, don't forget that. Whew. It's all about killing your enemies to get what you want. Or to get where you need to be. So... Eh. I'm gonna take a chat to see you. <laughs> Run! So yeah, it all la remains... The, the last enemies that we meet are in that room. Obviously not here. As much as that would be fun... Ah, uh, where's my little spirit? Where's my little market? Right. Yeah, we need to go in here, but I forgot how to open the gates. Wait a minute. Oh, I I know how. I know how. I know how. We need to equip. Not the chicken drumstick, I've got food on me. We need to equip the club and we need to set it on fire. I'm walking up. I fucking ran out! Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. Uh. Ah. Are we not meant to set that on fire? Why is it looking at me? Uh, we need to set that on fire. Oh, wait, are we not meant to slap her or something? Aww. Oh, 
let's just my, uh, I just got distracted by my freaking lock screen. Alright. I'm gonna try and slap this. Hey! Yes, the chalice can be collected! I will take your gold. And this, which is tells me. We've defeated all of the enemies on the level. You just have to get 100% of the chalice and you're done. So we are done here. Now, in order to get to the Hall of Heroes, you actually have to complete the level. So it's like, you can complete the level first if you wish to. And then come back and go and get the chalice. But it is a bit of a long, arduous task to do all of this. Because if I, if I remember correctly, in, in some of the levels, in some of the levels, you have to backtrack several times to go and get an item, only to go and get another item, only to go and get another item, backtracking several freaking times. It's like, but why? The See, if we didn't get 100% there, there's a certain section that we, would, that we would not have been able to do later on. And thus, it would have been a bit pish. So here's the whole... Pardon me. Here's the whole heroes. I basically find a glowing statue. When a statue is glowing... Oh, this guy's got, he's got to talk. Back from the battle so soon? It, it must think, think it's, it's a, a hero, hero by now. now. But only a true hero is it's worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See? Ah, uh, that, that wee guy on the wall is a cheeky little bastard, by the way. Ah, oh, fuck. I uncanny Tim. Uh. Hurrah! I knew it would take more than an army of the evil dead to throw your strides at. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. Ah, uh, yes. You always want to accept these. Uncanny Tim's never seen a potion before. Also, I'm missing some something to drink. We're switching over to a bit of Oshi. Which I'll show you in a second. So here is Oshi, it's a sports drink, basically. It's a very tasty sports drink. Now this is the Hall of Heroes. You've got a bunch of heroes that you have to talk to, and there's an upstairs that you can access as well, but you can only access the upstairs if you've done enough of the, the crap, the downstairs. If you try to access it, you just fall through. Simple as. It's a wee ghostly texture. And this is actually before I remember. And to get out, you just go back to the entrance. I remember getting to a certain part of this. Because I, I took my time, I played the game a bit. A fair bit, actually. I had um, a, a fair chunk of the upgrades, like, properly earned from the Hall of Heroes. But never an... Oh, I saved properly, right, yes. So the chalices up the top right are the ones we've already unlocked. And we're going to go through them. And try to do a fair bit. I can confirm we have not been playing this for 38 minutes. I was playing 30 minutes before. Ah, easy. Wait, that's a that's a glorified boss rush. Can we even get the chalice for that? I wait. It's a full it's a full level. So yes, yes we can. There, there's a whole bunch to these stages, by the way, and it's absolutely fantastic. Right. One of the things we want here is the hammer. Also, I should, I, I, I need to mention there's goblins in this, and the goblins will steal your items. So if you're using a cheated item, 
and it gets stolen. Ah, uh, y'all can say goodbye to that. Yeah, you can break these coffin lids and then jump in. The, the X is actually in one of them. Ah, uh, let's shoot this type of magic. Oh, that's a one shot. Okay. Okay. Bruh, that's the way down. I think. Wait, there's something in here. I think. Is there? No. I'm tempted to buy this physical. Go and get yeeted, you be filler. This is the way we, this is the way down, we'll leave that. Oh, there's something in here. Hey, go! I'll take it. So if you, if you really want to, you can explore this area, but there's no real point to it. Oh, fuck off, I don't want that. I act wait, why is that glory? I've never understood why that glass glows differently. Hey! This is fantastic! Oh, it's been years oh we have to Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you're aiming at the wrong ones, but okay, Dan. Okay, we're just we're gonna we're just gonna heat them with the magic sword, all right? I will take you with my magic sword. Oh! Ah! Uh, is that one of the ones? No, it's not. This is it. Ah! Okay, never mind. We'll use the hammer. We've got the hammer here. Why not? Okay, this is the wrong way. We need to we need to ruin stone. So throughout certain levels, you can get ruin stones, and it helps you progress. Sometimes getting them is a slight bit of a challenge, just to say. Uh, on them. So what we're going to do here is we're going to clear the way out. We're going to clear a few ways, and it should help us. And so right away we already know that we need to get a green rune to access the blue rune. It, it goes in a certain order. So Oh I forgot I could do this. So we definitely do have to go back, however we're not gonna rush the, the glass. You don't want to do that. Now the purpose of our visit here, the purpose of our visit here is just to collect the chalice. We're halfway done, but we still have to finish the level. So take that however you see fit. Did they really put an invisible wall? Damn it, Deborah. Damn it, Deborah. I will slash you, mine friend. Okay, so this one's this one's gonna be a little bit tricky. So slash slash. Ooh. Oh, how nice of you to have this energy veil just lying around. You sir. 
Ah, my freaking always on thing. So yes, the ground will co inevitably collapse on you, but if you if you're smart and you have the dash, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So we have the green room, we just go up here and we'll put the green ruin in, and that'll give us access to the blue ruin. This is where I got mugged at one point in the game. It's like, uh... Ah! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! You give that back! Woo! You see, you see what I mean? I, I just got jumped. I got jumped in this area and they're like, Nah fam, nah fam. Oh, so where's my shield? I'll have a second. The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. His wretched soul lies preserved in a frozen glass hand. Shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre-frozen menace. Lovely. Yeah, th this guy's easy to be if you have the right item. You will not steal from me! Yeah, th this is ultimately where we need to go, but we need to get a whole load of stuff in order to progress, like I was mentioning before. Uh, we need sheet music, we also need the blue root, you will not. Thanks for dying. Sheet music helps you unlock a secret, and... I will drain you, thank you. So I have to go through here. Ah, uh, there's the blue ruin. We don't have to worry about the stained glass demon yet because we haven't opened. We haven't um. Thank you, sir. Right, we need to go and collect the sheet music for the skeleton. Which? Oh, we need to fill this up. We'll, we'll use the demon here. And we'll fill up our armor. Now. Ah, uh, can you quickly repair my stuff, thanks. Eee. Look at that, the boy's coming in clutch. So there, there is sheet music we need to get before we even unlock the demon's hat. So we don't have two ruins, we can go back and do all that. Oh, actually, never mind. Um, we need the key. We need the key for the room, and we don't have it. There's a key that we can get, but we kind of need to do a thing. Ah, uh, red, where are you? Hey, blue's down here. I will slice you. Yeah, th this is what we need. This is what we need. Woo! I forgot. There is what it is. There's no going back now. I can't believe that just happened. That was hilarious. So we have the sheet music, but we don't need. To, we don't want to go down there just yet. We don't want to go down there. We of course need to go to the skeleton and give him. The sheet music. I'll see you soon. I will see you all soon, stupid demon. So let's do this. Uh, sheet music. Hey. Yeah, that sounds creepy. The boy is creepy. So we got a bunch of gold and the chalice. So after this, we can go to the Hall of Heroes if we wanted to. And it's exactly where I'm going to go. But, first and foremost, we need to go and get the red. We need to place the red moon. And... Well, we're 
Um, yeah. And the way this works is we push that block. Oh, hello, ow. We push the block along and it heats up the stained glass hard, which then gives the demon its power. Hey, it's one down. Oh, for God's sake, Cortana. Stupid Cortana! I don't know why the stupid thing is mess red. Yeah, we get we got another cup of shield, boys. Whatever. I was just looking around for secrets, there are none left. So we just do this. Like quite like, uh, just this. Then a cutscene plays of the demon waking up. Or the, the spirits within the heart are turning to the demon. And then it just breaks out and just lunges at you. It's like, oh. <laughs> oh boy. This is fun! Now, th this is where specific items come in handy, right? Crossbow. The crossbow is your best friend here. You need to have it in order to win quickly. Because when he exposes his heart, you can then shoot the heart, and that's his weakness. And I'm all spoiling this before it all happens. Alright, this is, this is unique. This is such a good villain design. Especially on a system like this. It doesn't require that much. It doesn't require too much texturing. The demon is hurt is his only vulnerable point. Oh! That killed nearly my entire gold shield. That's annoying. Than me, Felix. Hey, you got the last second. Oh, that's not good. I actually did forget where the exit was, but the exit just so happened to be a freaking automatic thing. It just teleports you out. <sighs> it's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Ah, that demon is a sarky little bastard, by the way. Just watch yourself well. Oh, it's not Uncanny Tim this time. Who did we talk to? Oh, oh, is it this guy? Oh, he's the guy glowing. This, this is the guy you get the hammer from. Is he following me? My eyes must be playing tricks on He is! The model the model's following me. Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that Archcad Zarok still being alive? 
thought you killed the fella. <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only <laughs> ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> of course I'm going to accept. I won't Why is he even no an option? For an answer. Knock a few heads for old stun your iron hewer, eh? Wait, th this fellow was told that Dan had beaten Zarok. But in the intro to the game, it shows Dan being the first to fall. And it wasn't even Zarok that done it. I will take the shield, man. I will take the shield. I will defend myself. Just gonna love how the shield's clipping through the arm. But it's nice design. That was acceptable because of how the PlayStation was. If that had happened today, there'd be an outcry. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, it shouldn't happen. Yes, we can save progress. Now, there's a weird level coming up, and it's... It's a bit odd. In regards... Not the graveyard level. Well, we could. Pulls and then she's dead. There's a lot of level varieties here, by the way. Holy shit. The gallows gauntlet. The haunted ruins. Ghost ship. The time device. Wait, so this involves time travel? Oh boy. Nah. Th this game is still massive, by the way. It really is. I, I haven't even played through most of this. I should really do a let's play on this at some point. That's only one section of the map as well. There's still more to this. You have the Enchanted Earth. And you've got all this, the Scarecrow Fields. Sleeping Village. Asylum Grounds, you have the Asylum. Well, Asylum's the last part on, th on this particular side of the map. Um, the Sleeping Village is one of my most hated levels. It really is. It involves... The villagers being possessed and wanting to kill everybody. <laughs> Look at that. That's just haunting. That's yes. Poor villagers. The, the master, master possesses, possesses them. them. It, it must hurt, hurt them. them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Hmm. So we have to be careful. We're not allowed to... We're not allowed to hurt the villagers. It's actually a very difficult... Um... Level. Because the villagers and the children are going to try and kill you. Let's do that. The villagers are not going to try and kill you. But you've not to kill them, you've not to hit back, you've just run away. A crucifix once stood here. 
but the mayor took find a replacement and see how the church should really Ooh, we're playing to Christianity now. Ah, okay then. Yeah, we can't, we can't take the kids on. Ah, uh, sugar. This one is actually going to be difficult if these little shits keep running after me. Oh, heck. Yeah, um, she's a villager and she... Okay, so we're gonna refill here. Hey, love to see you. Don't you even leave me alone. Okay then. Okay. That just happened. What? <sighs> oh no, I've glitched. I've glitched. Okay, so we can now go and get the red. Um, uh, chalice is at 59%. We can only kill the guards if we kill. If we kill the children, I think the chalice percentage is there. Oh man, go it. Gotta go fast. Hey, suck it. Hey, Crucifix Cat, we have to do something for that actually. To whom it may concern. I must make haste for Zarek's men will be here within the hour. I have taken the crucifix from the church. It is the key to a key. I used to cross to make the attached cast. Then I had it destroyed. It is my hope that this cast falls into the hands of a just and good hero. Signed, the town mayor. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't care about that. This is a library. And we've got what we came for. Well, at least for now. Ah, um, man. Go away. We can get a cast from in here if we do it right. Yeah. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding cast have produced many intricate and hard-wearing iron goods and sculptures. Well, he only uses the finest of metals in his work and is particularly noted for his magnificent busts. Ah, oh, Silver Shield!
Ah, oh, this isn't doing anything! Am I doing it wrong? Um... I may just be doing it wrong. Oh. oh, I can't equip a shield if I don't have a freaking arm. Oh, that makes sense. Um, I'll have to look into this. I don't know. I am missing something. You can bash them. Oh fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet! So you can actually fight back and get away from them. <laughs> Suck it. Yeah, fucking eat you. I'll take this. <laughs> okay. La 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 la. There's something I need. God knows where it is. Oh, I don't want a club. That's inferior. You eat it. Ah. Of Mr. Shang's landlord of the troll's head to clean the statue of Lord Pedestal. What? Oh, yeah, I can get out of here with that. Jumped! Yeah, here. Imagine jumping me for that. Gotta go fast. Ah, fuck it. We don't need that. I'm dying! Get your salty! Some guys just want one thing only and it's disgusting. 
I just want that head. I've mugged you. See you later. Ah, uh, nanny. Really, it's tear. Hurry, comrades! Tear this place apart. If we don't find the shadow artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium. Russians! We have undead Russians! Why? Why? Oh, goddamn Instagram. Why are you like this? Let me put you upside down real quick. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. I need to remember where the blacksmith what? is. Oh. What? oh, their death animation is funny. I like it. I like it. Uh, I have magic sword. What do you have? Thank you for dying. Thank you for dying. Please come again, Master Russian person thing. All the villagers have disappeared. That's nice. Now, where the fuck's the blacksmiths? I hate this town so much. Don't you even! Oh, is it this one? Are you the blacksmiths? No. Uh. Computer says no. What the hell is this? Oh, oh shit! Ah! Leave me alone! I mean you no harm yet. Hey, we have the bus. Hey, yeah, we, we can put the bus then, and then we do this. You do have to keep doing it because you have to melt the gold. And unfortunately, it does take quite some time. In fact, it takes longer than it should. Which is currently disappointing. Hey! Now we head back to the church. Oh, wrong way. I will say, screw you, comrade. That's not a church. This level layout is so terrible, by the way. I hate it! But it's also incredibly unique. It's like, what? Ah, uh, church. Not church. Oh, where the fuck is it? I mean, it's like way back here or some shit. There it is. What the hell? So we have to go here and then replace the crucifix. Hey! Ooh! Found a safe. Ooh. That's where we need to go. What's this all about? Dear sir or madam, on my travels across Galamir, I've come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with the deepest dread was the discovery of the tomb of the shadow demons, the key to their dank prison. Dank. The mysterious shadow artifact is now in my possession. That dress-wearing bully boy, Zarok, will stop at nothing to retrieve this item. 
I fear that he already knows that it is, that it is I who possess it. Yours, yours fearfully, the town mayor. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we need to go back. This is what I was on about earlier when I said there's a lot of backtracking that has to be done. You have to do so much of it. That's like... Uh, oh, wrong area. Okay. I made a whoopsie. I made a whoopsie. It is to the right. No, it's not even that. Disgusting. I hate it here. Get around. Ooh. Wrong side of the gate! Oh my god, I clipped through it. Right, that's nice. Oh. I'm about to get mugged. I don't know. Ah, uh, what the hell is here? Anyway? Ooh. What? Oh, 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 whatever. I don't care. Well, okay, I can't do. It's imperative that I kill at least one or two more. I need more souls. Give me your soul. Knock knock. Aww. <laughs> Wait, why is that open? The ruin key is held off the flow of water. Okay. I thought that was going to tell me how to get that pop. I've sadly not got my ID on me. Uh, I need some guts to kill. They stack this here on purpose. Ah! I've got an idea that we have to jump the roofs. Ah, sugar! Alright. This is back when... Oh, someone just came online. Nice. Oh shit, I'm stuck. This, this was back when you had to be creative in order to find... items. Oh, what? Me... You've got to be so precise because of how the camera moves. The camera is not the best. It really isn't. Going to get it. Ah, uh, lo I love to clip through the roof. It's absolutely brilliant. Hey! Are you serious? We enter the house through the chimney? So uh, that's a bit. I hate it here. Hey, what's this? Give. Wait, do we not have a key for that? Hey! 
Yay, we do! I'll take that even though I already have it. Thank you. I forgot all about this. But you can, in fact, collect the shadow artifact at any time you see fit. Can I go back up the chimney, please? Oh. Well, that's dumb. Well, so where's this fella's bed? Right, um, I'm assuming we just... Yeah, we just go at the end. Which is somewhere, because I keep getting lost. Cause level design. Actually, it's more or less the camera's fault at this point. Because I'm like, where am I going? I can't even see bug at all because of that bloody camera. The camera does allow you to turn it. Every so often, we're gonna need I will bring my magic sword. Ah, uh, can I go back? Hey, we can go back! Alright. So I can now go back and grab that chalice. Yeah, it's not even this way. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, there's a hole in the yeah, there's a hole in the wall. We can grab the chalice and Hey, hole of healers awaits. But yeah, our level design is really not the best, do you? It really isn't. Oh. Good lord, running into everything. The downside, the, the, the biggest upside actually would be if we're given a better camera for the game. Or rather, in a way, keep this one, but allow you to turn it more, is what I'm trying to say. Because if you could turn it more, that's a good thing. It really was. Right, who are we getting next? Who, who's for a boy? It's the Hall of... Oh, he, sa he said that one already. I think it's um the war guy again. Or is it Tim? Is it Mr. Timbuktu over here? Yeah, we, we still haven't done... E oh, it's this guy. I just saw the wall. Brother Fortescue, some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack by now, but I knew you'd pull through. Here, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? <sighs> you want to accept it? <laughs> oh, in this case, we don't. <sighs> well, whatever it is. Not even a hundred gold. Uh, 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 uh. Well, what for? Whatever. Oh, we leave the hall of heroes. You know, when this goes up on YouTube, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna render this out tonight and put it up on YouTube. Now, one of the things I'm gonna start doing with the shorter streams is rendering them out, so I can add a thing or two to them. Mm. Ow. You can call us the Chalice Hunters. Oh my goodness. Where you play the Sleeping Village? No thank you, I hate that level. Um, I haven't even done the Asylum Grounds yet, but I'll save that for another time, alright? Save that for another time. I actually want to have a look and see what I haven't got from the early stages. 
So the early stages of the game would be... We didn't even get the... Ch I don't think I don't think there's a chalice for Dan's crypt. Ah, uh, did I get them off the graveyard? Yes. Yeah, so one, two, three. The last one, the last one we did was the sleepy, the sleeping village, which, which was annoying. Because I think you lose, I think you lose a percentage of your chalice when you actually kill some of the turns people. Now, you, you in your own right, you can, you can do that, but if, if you're after the chalice that you have, you can't do it. But you still, I recommend for the sleeping village is to just go all out and go for the chalice first time around. And then when you come back to it. I, th I think it should be done twice. First time for the chalice. No questions asked. That's the hardest part. And you come back and you do it again. But you just kill everything at the side. And see what happens. I don't know if it's going to impact the game or not. I, it's 1990s. I highly doubt it would. So. <laughs> but anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna say those magical what's that? No one. Okay, everyone likes to use it. And that is I'm gonna end it here. It's been one hour seventeen minutes. It's gonna be easier on me. Editing well, slightly editing wise. I just all I have to do is just add in the subscribe thing. And bada bang, bada boom. That's your lot. But yeah. it's been really fun doing this. Getting into like plugging in the PS Vita, plugging in the headphone cable, and all of that stuff. It's it's quite good. If I'm honest, because now that I, now that I can competently use the Vita for content creation, we can do things like uh, tech and uh, Silent Hill. Get. Deep Cover Gecko, Blank vs Zombie Rob. We're actually not going to be covering Hyper Devotion or Hyper Dimension or whatever those games are. Because yeah, I don't have enough sensor bars to sense all that crap out. But we can do Wipeout, Grandia, Back to Final Fantasy 9, Demon Gaze. Demon Gaze is really good. Uh, then Gecko Bunko, Fighting Climax, Tekken. Uh, Sui Koden. Corpse Party! You know what? We're going to do Corpse Party this year for Halloween. We're going to try each of the Corpse Party games on PSP. Ah, uh, for this. It's a bit gruesome in pixel format, but it is what it is. Where's my original one? Where is the original Corpse Party that I have? Wait, did I not have it? Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. At some stage, I'm going to get into Tomba 2 because I have n I've never played the second one. I really haven't. Uh, Ultimate Man vs. Capcom 3, Capcom Classic, Spyro 3, which comes with a free game that I didn't know about until recently. Uh, we have Persona 1, we have Persona 2, we have Persona 3, we have Persona 4, we have the first four games. Uh, where's Scott's party? Did I miss it? I'm an idiot. I might need to download that again, actually. Uh, we've got Blood Drive, we've got Book of Shadows. One, two, three. Well, just two and three, actually. There's Persona. Where the hell is Corpse Party? Let me just download that now, listen here. It shouldn't show any information that it shouldn't show. Uh, if, I'm, if I've missed it, then. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, it's not in here, it's not on the main screen. Okay, we're gonna go download Corpse Party real quick. It's not gonna take long, it really doesn't. But, uh, you know, you know, it is what it is. 
No, nah, never mind. It's not, it should be my downloads list. Somewhere. <laughs> oh boy. 2018. I had it way before that. Because I, I was watching Yuri of Wind stream. Oh no, it was before that. I was watching Yuri of Wind's content on a corpse party and I'm like, ah. Uh. Actually, there, there's a shout out. Go and check out Yuri of Wind. He does very good content. He does these uh, mystery, gaming mysteries and all that. But he also has like a secondary channel where he just does whatever. Does Book of Shadows. Uh, yeah, there's the original one. Good lord. Why did I not grab that? It's like a hundred or so megabytes. Good gravy. Yeah, I have so much on here. If we go right back to the very beginning, to when I first downloaded stuff for this. It's going to be a bit flickery for you guys. Oh boy, nostalgia. Uh, Tekken Revolution was the first game I downloaded on this account after getting banned. Um, Tekken Revolution is interesting. I may have to download that on the PS3 and see if the servers are still for it. But basically, what it was is a free-to-play Tekken game where you could play three matches. Uh, it's kind of like how a gacha game works. So you've got you've got the choice of doing two online matches or three three arcade matches or ra rather you get, you get three tries at arcade mode if you if you lose three times that's you you have to wait and let those tokens restore I don't recall if there was an option to rebuy uh, tokens I could very well be wrong there we go, car party, five minutes left, 556 megabytes. Wait, did I just, did I just accidentally pause that? Oh, don't do that. Bro, not do that. Okay, it's not paused. Right, so, yeah. Tekken Revolution, I I covered it a long, long time ago on, uh, the game, was it the gaming channel? I can't, I can't even remember. Good gravy. So, yeah, that was the thing that happened. Uh, needless to say, I, d I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. But yeah, it was basically the engine used for Tekken 6. Tekken 6 or Tekken Tag 2. No. Could, uh, couldn't it be Tekken Tag 2? Because... I, I had a remix competition a long, long time ago on SoundCloud. That's how I got into doing SoundCloud content every so often. And basically, if... Wow. Um... Frickin'. Oh, what can I do there? I've got so much crap on my SoundCloud, by the way. <laughs> I uploaded that... I uploaded my Tekken track. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. About 2012, 2013, so it could have been about that. My math could be very wrong. I've, I've never good at math. I've, I've, I've never seen much of a use for it outside of what I was taught in high school. But even what I was taught in high school is just, it is what it is. But yeah, once again, if you've enjoyed the content so far, feel free to drop a follow. There's going to be more content like this in the future. Tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be fun because we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid. Not not the HD remasters, although that, that would be uh, an option and a half for me to do that. That'd be fun. I might do that next week actually, is um, stream mail, I guess I'll do uh, I don't know, I don't know. 
So tomorrow, when you come back, when you come back tomorrow, we're doing Metal Gear Solid One, which that doesn't even have an online manual, does it? Nah, I don't think it does. Does it? I can't remember. But you do. Uh, one of the things that then that was neglected when putting this the cons, uh, putting this on the store was that you actually needed the physical game. Or rather, uh, you'd either need the physical game to progress the story, or, or, you could look online. At a certain point, the game asks you to look on the back of the case for a codec number. A codec number that Meryl is, speak is saying to a snake. I think it's one, one six something. I can't quite remember, but she she says that to Snake on the back of the cover, but she never says it in game, and it's why the game tells you to turn over. There's also some fun stuff with uh, Psycho Manus as well. Um, Psycho Manus can be beaten if you plug the controller into the second port in PS1. We can't do that here. So there's no way to switch controller ports, so it's like... Uh, Despicable. Let's do this. Six seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And installing. You know, these games actually install fairly quick. Wait. Oh no, we had it installed all this time. I am a great idiot. Anyway, anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. This has been GTA Ranch Game. If you enjoy the content, feel free to check me out on SoundCloud. At SoundCloud, or just look up GTA Raj on SoundCloud. Um, I've also got YouTube, youtube.com slash GTA Raj 2 and GTA Raj Gaming. Although that doesn't really matter if you're watching back and forth. Anyway, so... <sighs> so, once again, thank you all for joining me tonight. This has been GTA Red Gaming. Stay safe, and I will see you all tomorrow for Metal Gear Solid 1. And YouTube gets a small upload on something. 10 out of 10. Alright, take care, you guys. See you tomorrow.